part of the difference between an online course and a face-to-face -face course is literally everything that has to do with you being face-to-face -face with someone. It can be as simple as the proximity to that face, but it can also be the subtlety of being in a room full of people and people having various reactions to the speaker or speakers, uh, people who might be tired, distracted, uh, really on their mark and asking good questions, all of the above. And so when you think about the world that's, that's traditional, I'll call it old school education, um, it goes back hundreds of years and we know how it works. We know the feel of it. We, we sense how people react to us and vice versa. When you're faced with, and then pardon me for saying faced with when I just said face to face, but when you're faced with a digital version, an online version of a course, you remove that three-dimensional space, the social space, the physical space, the face in front of you, other than maybe me talking at you on a screen, and it becomes, I wouldn't say more or less challenging, it becomes a different sort of challenge. On the one hand, you gain the advantage of your time being your own, and you determine when you're going to sit down and work on whatever task is before you for the sake of this online course. The disadvantage, I think, and significantly, is that because you can choose to sit down or not, no offense to anyone in particular out there, but you may choose not to. Well, then things kind of stack up and you start feeling rushed and you think, wow, if only I had a little more self-discipline. And that's, of course, where the advantage of getting to a course comes in because you're only meeting twice, maybe three times a week. And as long as you can get in your car and get to where it is, then you can kind of sit in there and, and get some benefit from it. So the online environment allows you the flexibility, but it also comes with an obligation.